Hi, it's time for a quick video for a quick yet awesome uh, feature that was added a few days ago. It's a great way to put all your tools, all the, uh, the commands and operators that you use more often at hand. So uh, for example, say you are a um, big fan of monkeys and you add monkeys all the time, but you don't want to go to the, mon to the mesh menu and then add a monkey. You can just right click, add the favorite menu. So let's leave that uh, one there. Let's say, for example, you often go uh, and make the object always smooth. So go to object, add another one, and let's say you render often. So instead of pressing F12 because your dog ate the key, you can just right click on this um, render and then just add to favorites menu. So basically I'm building a menu. Where is it? Well, I said it's a, key, a quick feature, so it's in the queue for quick favorites. So from here you can access all of the, um, the operations that you just added. So for example, monkey, and you can just repeat it as many times and apply, of course, to multiple objects, the operations that you have there. And you can also render from here, just like, uh, because we added the render there. But the cool thing is that um, it depends on the mode that you're in and the um, editor that you're in. So for example, if I press the Q now, where I'm here in the properties, um, I have the render image because it's a global thing, it's like a global operation. So if I'm in the timeline, I also have access to this or in the um, outliner. But in the 3D view, I have access to the ones that are actually um, uh, like the ones that actually make sense. The same if you're in edit mode. So for example, say I'm in edit mode and I use the tools for, for example, look at and um, shrink fat then very often. So now I have them both here. And it's exactly what I, what I choose here is setting the active tool just from a shortcut. And of course, this, this is a menu, so it works with like Q1, Q2, so that way you can uh, quickly switch between them. And it's really, uh, really a nice way to build your own uh, set of tools that you use more often. This gets saved on your user preferences, so it's really, you can, you can set it once and then you just forget about it. Uh, to remove things, you just right click and then remove from favorites. That's also very um, straightforward. And with this in mind, you can actually build your own, like from any place, basically. All the operations that have an entry here in the menus, they are accessible. And there will be a change. It's not right now, but for example, if you have like a toggle that you press all the time, and uh, like here, for example, you will be able to you right click and then add that one to the to the quick menu. It's not possible at the moment, but it is planned. And the great thing is that this feature is actually implemented in a way that it could be reused and it could be it could be possible to have more than just one quick menu. It could be for yeah, for anything. You could have like panels for that. Like the the implementation is very flexible. So that is pretty great. So go and start making your own yeah, because it works in every mode. If you are in sculpt mode, you can add specific brushes. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So you just change it from here. So it's like making your own. And if you make it a pie, oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, anyway, um, just, a, just, just a quick uh, and awesome feature. This is part of Lender 2.8, so you can download it already from download, no, wait, builder.blender.org and just go there, it's experimental, it's still work in progress, just like any other Blender 2.8 build. And yes, it's part of the code quest, even though we're in the last few days, it's part of the code quest. Remember, you can continue supporting Blender development by joining the development fund. Go to blender.org slash donate and there is more information there. So the code quest comes to an end, but the development continues. And that is all for now. I will see you again in the next uh, video. Ciao.